So it was fast, but did you just call our Hindu, Muslim, and Jewish members demons? I heard you say if they did not have Jesus no, Christ in their heart. No, if you don't have the Holy heart. Spirit inside you, there's a phrase you can't say, Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. And if you are open to those other gods based on that faith, you're allowing other gods, non yote vave gods, to possess your physical form. Follow up. So that would be described as being um, giving access to your physical form. You're the mystery hidden from angels for generations. Uh, the hope of Christ, uh, hope of God, Christ in you. So if you're if you're not down with that, so to speak, if, if you're of an, another religion that's not of that, you've given access to non godly entities to make your decisions. Representative Liston, could you bring this back to HB 68, please? Uh, well. So I'm concerned that he's calling our members demons and saying that that's why we support this Not or demons. we are against this bill. No, we're all he hopefully human entities, but like what you allow to rule your, your spirit, your soul and a body, right? And what you allow to rule in the spirit controls your physical soul and your body if you're in order. But a lot of times your body's in control, uses the spirit feed it, to feed its uh, energy. It's, it's kind of a medical physical conversation. I'm not calling you demons. I'm just... Um, bring up the fact that you might be possessed and making decisions without the discernment of God. All right, and I will just say in, on behalf of my members and those we represent of other religious backgrounds that the, any opposition to this bill, I will strongly say, is not from possession by demons. Um, but so thank, thank you. you very